We now return to Free Market Fun Sack. Welcome back to Free Market Fun Sack, the game that tests your understanding of the global economy and reminds us that true freedom is our ability to restrict the freedom of others. We're now in our final action round with the remaining categories. Those wacky Austrians. What Mafia? Fuck you and your college dream. And gimme, 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 mine, mine, mine. Tammy, it's your turn. Sam, I'll take fuck you and your college dream for 300, please. Currently, in the United States, which form of indirect slavery is most actively saving the ownership class by generating legions of young, desperate laborers? Tim? Sam, that would be dead slavery. That's correct, Tim. In fact, there's now about $1.2 trillion in student debt alone. An excellent career motivator to be sure. Tim, you're up. I'll take what mafia for 400, please? Which free market induced cartel currently maintains the most oppressive power over life improving public health policies? Tammy? The Federal Reserve. Close, but no. Fred? The Food and Drug Administration. There we go. That's right, folks. We do have cures for cancer. Too bad it would interfere with the bottom line of the existing medical mafia. Fred? Yeah, Sam, I'll take gimme, 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 mine, mine, mine for 600. Which continent has been most capitalized upon for its natural resources and cost-efficient labor since the start of the British Empire? Fred? Asia? Very close, but no. Tammy? South America? Uh, even closer, but no bueno. Tim? Africa. You got it. Oil, minerals, spices, land, and even people have been taken by the West and put to good economic work for hundreds of years. Economic efficiency at its best. That buzzer means we're out of time. Fred, you're our new winner. Tammy and Tim, please enter your designated free market fun sacks as your fates have been set to help contribute to the emerging market economies of the third world. Ed? That's right, Sam. Tammy is off to luscious Thailand to be a sex slave in one of the most promising markets of the region, human trafficking. While Tim is off to Southeast Asia to work for 18 hours a day for 10 cents an hour, making expensive sneakers for American school children. Thank you all for joining us. Now a word from our sponsor. 